Hi, I'm Mark Weitzman. Welcome to this introductory video on quantum field theory of students' perspective. Even before I get to any material in the course, which will be covered in the next uh, video, where I'll, I'll explain the prerequisites and the course material and how we're go I'm going to go about covering the material, I want to start by introducing um, Piazza. No, I'm not a shareholder, or uh, it's not yet public, but I've used this site for about five years to host a lot of my material and everything. And um, so for those on YouTube who haven't yet discovered my Piazza site, it's, it's, um, I want to discuss it in this video and then just show you the resources that you can have. Let me start by, I just want to start by reading something from um, Anthony Z's book, The Preface on Quantum Field Theory, where he says, I understand that of the different groups of readers, those who are trying to learn quantum field theory on their own could easily get discouraged. Let me offer you some cheering words. First of all, that is very admirable of you. Of all the established subjects in theoretical physics, quantum field theory is by far the most subtle and profound. By consensus, it is much harder to learn than Einstein's theory of gravity which in fact should probably be regarded as part of field theory, as you'll see in this book. So don't expect easy cruising, particularly if you don't have someone to clarify things for you once in a while. Try an online physics forum. Do at least some of the exercises. Remember, no one expects a guitarist to learn to play the guitar by going to concerts in Central Park or by spending hours reading transcriptions of Jimi Hendrix solos, guitarist practice. Guitarists play the guitar until their fingertips are calloused. Similarly, physicists solve problems. Of course, if you don't have the prerequisites, you won't be able to understand this or any other field theory text. But if you have mastered quantum mechanics, keep on trucking and you will get there. So as, as he says in his book, it's really admirable for anybody trying to learn quantum field theory. It is quite a difficult subject. Now, what I want to show you is my Piazza site. So this is um, the website on my Piazza site. I'll give the link and the sign in a little while. But this is what I see when I, you might see something slightly different. But this is the Q&A page of the Piazza. This is the main menu for Piazza. This is me and a picture of me and my site. Um, so here's where you can post things. For instance, um, uh, an individual posted a question. Oops, I'm not, I'm not. An individual posted a question a few days ago on large perturbations and, and you know I answered him and he asked more questions so I'll respond to just about all questions um, that are reasonable and I tend to make announcements on the page I treat it like a blog you know Steven Weinberg passed away and I share some links I give things like on upcoming quantum mechanics MOOCs you know and um, and I post things that over when I post a, a lecture um, by the way, this is not the site for this course. This was my other site. I forgot to switch back. This is the site for this course. But when I post like a new lesson or a tutorial, I will, um, hold on one second. When I post a, a new lesson or tutorial, I, um, I'll put a post on here and, um, you know, usually I'll embed the video and everything. So you can, you know, if you want to put a new post, you just click on that new post. And it's really, they, re they support latex. You can link files. You can insert medias, images, special characters, everything very easy. You can insert programming. And you even have like a preview thing so that, for instance, let's say you're doing latex on um, Piazza, you put the code in the double, in the um, inside double dollar, dollar sign. So let's say I do dollar um, backslash sign parentheses x plus backslash cosine parentheses x equals 
backslash D O T S. See on the left on the right side it just appears as regular text because it doesn't recognize the um, the latex. But then when I put the double dots it shows you and this is sort of like a preview of what it's looking like. So if you make a mistake or anything, you know, if if you leave out something like this, well, that that's not a fatal mistake, but let's say you leave out um, let's say you put uh, you see if you leave out a brace it doesn't know what's happening so it can't even interpret it and then you put in that and so on so when you post you know it gives you option for posting you'll have to select a subject you know I need to add more folders here but you can always just choose other anyway that's how you make a post and then you can respond to posts and um, so this is like a very good um, forum just like edX forum the main difference is, is that you have to put double dollar signs for latex and um, and it's got very good formatting tools and code insertion and everything so that is um, how we post on this also here is a list of like classes that I'm signed up for on Piazza so I have two things that are active right now quantum field theory of students perspective this class then I have another site that I use for topics in theoretical physics I'll discuss that shortly and then I have my inactive classes and so on so you know there's a lot of inactive classes okay no, that was one of them from an old one let me go back to this. Now the main thing on this site that people like a lot of them might not even know about is on the resources page. Now on the resources page, first of all at the top you can click syllabus and the syllabus right now it's just a table of contents from Mark Signecki's book. But um, so you can read the syllabus and um, you can read about the course information which is a description of the course and then there's a whole thing about me you know if you want to know all about Mark Weitzman's boring life here's part of it and uh, so the, there's a staff on the staff when am I accessible ever all the time etc and then they call it resources again back to, so this is the key tab in the course the resources on the resources page and I post the lessons I post like the latest one on the top so I've posted nine lessons I'm redoing them all for, and I call the new ones version 2 so at the bottom of the course I have some things on general resources and um, prerequisites um, actually I didn't um, hold on one second I didn't make the thing but okay now you can see it so I have like a, um, a little PDF on quantum field theory textbooks this is just my um, opinion on all the quantum field theory textbooks that I've owned and um, you can read it or not and then I have things on like the prerequisites for the course and again I that's all my you know this is my PDF and I talk about what the prerequisites are that you should know and then I have um, I have links to like various other lecture notes and video lectures on the internet so this is a pretty recent course by Tobias Osborne and you can you know he's got a lot of quantum field theory lectures he has a different approach this is, this is a more mathematical approach um, and then I have like um, uh, notes. These are like pretty good notes. Um, oops, I'll have to change that link. Um, like I have notes to John Preskill's field theory notes. These are unfortunately handwritten, but they're very good. I remember studying these at Caltech um, where he has notes and you can download them. And um, David Tong has a very good set of video lectures and notes. You can look at those if you like. 
Um, so there's a lot of resources here. And then I have some actually free textbooks, you know. For instance, the textbook for this course is practically, you know, it's like 98%. It's available online and you can get it. Um, you can buy the book on Amazon. I highly, uh, I highly recommend it. But um, you can actually download uh, right here a PDF file, pre-publication draft. So that's why one of the reasons why I chose this book, I happen to like it as a very good quantum field theory textbook, but it's also the fact that it's available on the Internet is, is another factor. Um, and then I have some notes that I'm making myself on my own on these other textbooks. You know, um, it's, this is going very slowly, obviously, but these are my notes on other field theory textbooks. This is on Ramon's book, so that if I refer to it in somebody's um, thing, my com my idea is to get like about a four or five to one compression. But we'll see. We'll see if somebody sends me a copyright violation and everything. Um, but then I have the course itself, and each course... Each lesson in the course sort of begins, you know, I'll take lesson two, it begins with a, um, a PDF where I have the plan outlined for the lesson, you know, read chapter, watch this video, solve these problems, etc. This isn't up to date. I need to up update this a little bit. But, for instance, on lesson two, I made these videos and then I have a, a bunch of tutorials all my videos in the future are going to be in this new format like this, um, which you've already maybe have seen. As I just explained earlier, when we have two booths um, in a different direction. So I like this rotation. format. It's, it's more flexible so for me and easier apparently for people to read. So, um, you know, my previous format was, oops, sorry. My previous format was sort of in front of a whiteboard, and you no, know, I'll have to wait a second for this to go. And people complained that it was hard to read and everything, and so on, which is true. So I've decided to go to my new format it's using linear, an iPad. It's anti linear on the first dark. And, um,. So at the end of this weekend, I, I hope to have lessons 0, 1, and 2 all on um, version 2. Which I'll, I'll put a V2 next to each lesson. And then um, starting in the coming week, I hope to go to canonical quantization of scalar fields. But I have to remake all these videos and, and do a better job. Um, so this is my Piazza site. Last time I got up to nine lessons before I, um, I was diverted by... Uh, markets and uh, volatility and, and a lot of ups and downs so hopefully I'll be able to stick to it you know more um, I hope the you know Sugneki part one I think has 38 chapters so that would be 38 lessons just to do the first part of the book on scalar field theory so it will be a while and at some point in time I may collaborate with somebody on um, putting this on open edX and that, that again, is, is, is a ways away. Um, I have one other Piazza site, which I want to show you. This is just a general site. It's not a specific course. It's called Topics in Theoretical Physics. And on the resources page, I have, like, just about all kinds of links and suggestions and books and everything on just about every topic in uh, theoretical physics. And anything I do, whenever I do anything and I put it up on YouTube or I put it online or I work out a problem that I think is worth solving, I, I put it on this page. So this page, everything except for quantum field theory. Quantum field theory I'll put on the other page. Some things in quantum field theory I'll put on here, but not as, um, not as much. And I also have uh, relativistic quantum mechanics. These are things which would could be on a quantum field theory page, but for now I'll, I'll leave them off. Um, so, um, and I have, you know, the same blog exists here. And, um, you know, like I said, I often I post to, to both of them or something. But um, a lot of people have, you know, People will ask questions and everything, but 
as I've made clear to people, my site is not a homework factory, so don't ask any questions that are on like an uh, or that are homework for a particular course you're taking. You know, don't say help me solve this problem on my homework or something like that. Or you know, if it's part of like an edX sequence, like the 804 to 806 sequence, you know, I'll tend to not do it because I want to. You know, one I work. I'll be working um, on the upcoming S staff on the upcoming 8.06 um, applications of quantum mechanics course from MITx, and so you know I'm not gonna anything on that course. I'll answer there. Don't post on my Piazza site from an edX course. Um, but um, you know, like I said, and sometimes I refer to my other course here. So I'll I'll often give you know lectures on people you know. And, and whatever your questions are, just ask. Um, in terms of signing up, all you have to do is, is go to the link. Um, I'm going to, let me make this larger. For my topics in theoretical physics, all of my, the two courses, when you go to the sign up page, you'll have to pick what kind of, what year or what class term, since the year constantly changes. But I want to keep this course open forever. I've chosen other. And uh, this is the sign up link over here. Right here is the sign up link. And the access code is PH200. Notice that it's got a small H for the access code. I, I screwed up, whereas the course title has a, a large H. And uh, that's all you need to know is you know, just go to this link and other and this access code, and then you're signed in. And um, I'll show it for uh, my other for the quantum field theory course. Here it is. Um, the info again. Other the access code is just capital QFT, and this is the sign up. This is the sign up link over here. Let me make that even bigger. Okay, so this is the sign up link. Other QFT. So. Um, that's all I wanted to say today, and um, you know, welcome to the course. Um, quantum field theory is very difficult, and and my hope in doing this is to learn the material along with you. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's easy. It's much easier if you're in a class at MIT or if you're in a class at Caltech to learn when you have instructors and and TAs. But to do it by yourself is difficult, so I'm trying to make it so that other people can learn this um, as a group. Unfortunately, there is no, as far as I know, there's no MOOC that really covers quantum field theory. Not yet, and it doesn't seem like there's one in the foreseeable future. So thank you for watching, and on the next uh, video, I'll have an introduction to the course. Bye-bye.